Alright, uh, this video is a flyer I did the other day, which the Lord wanted me to do several flyers, but uh, managed to sort of combine, I would say, one or two together. There's quite a few topics on this, I'm just going to read it out. Um, quoting from the book of Revelation uh, eleven eighteen, that God destroys those which destroy the earth. Um, the first part of this is about Fukushima, about this clown drinking the peach juice, and the thousands of animals who are being killed all around the world. You know, just uh, showing up dead, birds, fish cattle people as well just coming down to all, all of the inhabitants well as the bible says a third of the sea dying and the ships being destroyed um, that's the first part of it. a third of the sea the north and south pacific are uh, probably around about a third part of, of the sea creatures and of course in this region um, as the Lord showed me um, Korea, Japan, around that area is where the Third World War really starts you know uh, you know just at the beginning of this year we've already had uh, warnings about nuclear weapons being let off in Hawaii but um, I think it was shot down quite a few videos about that and they pretended that it was a false alarm but uh, it's really happening it's really going to kick off this year um, most prosperity churches tell us that it's speaking of something else you know they, they'll make they'll all the prophetic commentators you know I've never said that a third of the, the sea will actually die well this is how they've done it, they've done it through the nuclear power industry not through nuclear war as they've been continually threatening for the past uh, 50 years or you know since the end of the second world war uh, which is over 70 years of course but um, they've been continually threatening this but it's through the, the nuclear power industry that's uh, situated in Fukushima situated in Sellafield in the UK and all around the world um, <laughs> so again I've just got the, about the Catholic Church uh, taking the stance that their priests are the only ones who can interpret God's word you know when uh, the Bible does not say that um, a set of Nicolaitan priests are the only ones to interpret the Bible for you. Uh, the Lord hates the Nicolaitans, as it says in the book of Revelation. Old Nick, by the way. Yeah, we've gone through who that is. Um, yeah, it's about truth again, you know. Um, it's not. It's not about Disneyland. It's not about uh, sports. It's not about you know, um, drugs, alcohol, getting drunk. This is about truth, and most people don't. They really don't like truth. Really don't uh, stand up for truth. Mentioned a few YouTubers, of course, Dana Dunford, Kevin Blanche, um, who are standing up about this. Really amazing testimonies. Both of them actually have and uh, they ain't backing down um, about telling the world about you know what's truly happening the scientists won't do it or at least the scientists that are still alive won't do it or that, that are on a paycheck um, this guy won't do it you know he, he'll drink peach juice and as I've gotten here I've mentioned about technology that Tesla might have had which um, could have um, help with the radiation poisoning but of course these drugs or medication will not come down to as scalar warfare can actually block out nuclear radiation 
Um, some fruits are good to do it as well, like strawberries. Um, as far as I know, my friend uh, told me about that, but uh, there's a few more foods that are very good for, for that as well. Um, fruits. This guy had some peach juice, and this is how he's going to look in a few years, unless he, uh, unless it wasn't from Fukushima, or he took some sort of, you know, medication <laughs> that would help his, nu his nuclear fallout sickness. Um, we've got Sellafield in the Liverpool area. You know, you can watch a few videos about that, how the locals have went down, you know, to, to the beach there and highlighted the fact that there's, uh, you know, just, just the marine life there is, is dying off, just as it, you know, sort of sort of has in the west coast and all around Britain and it's affected Scandinavia as well. Um, in fact, a lot of European countries are not happy about um, Sellafield, least of all the, the British populace who are being told that it's an ice cream factory or something like that, you know. Uh, the most deceived people, among the most deceived people in the world, the British people, you know. Sad to see. And of course, uh, the I won't be going to the Olympics, by the way, I don't know about you. There might be a lot of preachers that will end up going there in 2020, you know, the street preachers and tell them, telling the world about Jesus but which we're meant to do which I believe that you'll be supernaturally protected from radiation if you're going to serve the Lord otherwise you know it's going to be giving yourself a dose of unnecessary radiation I would say which again which I believe is in the book of Revelation all this is being fulfilled right before our eyes but how many prophetic commentators are linking today's events with the Bible? Zero. None. They've, they've, they're all talking about something else, some future event. It's already happening. You know, I saw a vision. Um, I think the sixth flyer I did, publication number six, talks about the vision that I had and um, it's all just happening. Um, so I've got also Sean Ross here, which uh, actually he, he, he gave me an article about, um, you know, uh, Boris Johnson having lineage from the pharaohs, or this, this particular mummy, the DNA was checked. So did Jimmy Savile, and so, so do many other um, of those who are into Satanism. Uh, and witchcraft and who are in politics and who are in entertainment and etc etc um, you just call them the pharaohs and of course Sean did the pharaoh show a number of years ago um, I believe got hundreds of thousands maybe even millions of hits around the world which was a very very good documentary about uh, basically who's, who's running running the earth uh, amongst those who are running the earth in Octagon in Switzerland um, seem to be really at, at the peak of everything that's going on because it is true anything significant that happens in the world there, there's usually some sort of a meeting in Geneva somewhere I and mean, check it out whether it's whether it's um, anything anything at all significant in the world all happens from Switzerland usually finance from Switzerland so these are the lineages, you've got the pharaohs, which are the rulers, the bankers, the politicians, even the police force, um, some of them. I, I don't think, um, and it's been quite well known, that if, unless you're in a secret society, you can never advance beyond sergeant. They don't mind you having some influence over maybe a handful of people, but as in when it goes into the hundreds or the thousands, you're you're not going to get influence over that amount unless you're in a secret society. Now that's been well known for a long time. Um, so you get the pharaohs, and then you get the Joseph Company, which uh, you know Joseph was falsely accused. Um, Joseph was jailed for um, 
no crime that he did. Um, Joseph was hated by his uh, own peers, his own brothers. And if you take that story literally, and you take that Joseph company till today, the true Christians are the ones who are being rejected by the church. The true Christians are the ones who are being falsely accused. The true Christians are the ones who, who are um, being used and um, just the list goes on. In fact, just as Jesus Christ said um, that a true prophet will be uh, rejected by his own people, just as it's always been this way, and it's for the plan of God to be established. Because the people who be truly belong to God, they do not belong to the world. They do not belong to the false worldly churches. And these churches know that. And they hate upon this said uh, Joseph Company, which which I wrote about. It's one of my first articles I did on my website, which my website was deleted last year for no apparent reason. It was meant to be free web space. I mean, I got other websites which I've highlighted in places, but they're obviously taking a lot of um, true um, content down from the internet. And again, thanks to you guys for supporting this channel. I know sometimes I'm, I'm sounding a little bit down recently. I, you know, it's, it's a hell of a struggle um, serving the Lord when the entire world and everything is against, everyone is against you. Even those whom you're sent to serve at times end up, um, you know, turning against you and doing all manner of things, you know, against uh, the true brothers and sisters of the Lord. Um, I can usually tell, you know, it's almost quite obvious to me who's a true Christian when I meet them because they're being used, abused, um, etc., etc., and I think that person must be a real Christian. That person must have a real calling in their life. As the ecosystem breaks down because of the nuclear industry and it's spiraling out of control, you might wonder what type of future humanity may have. Uh, and of course, Hollywood comes up with Robocop, Darth Vader, Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, which are very much, all of them are Nazi, Nazi-based um, superheroes and I did one about you know Superman the other day which you know the idea of it is quite romantic in a lot of ways but most of these other superheroes are very Nazi and they're all transhuman um, yeah they're all abominations before the Lord our education system has failed to teach us the extreme dangers of all the breakdowns that are going on around us, not least of all your smart car. I've seen loads of these breaking down recently. Whether they are uh, be moral, physical, mental, we are being led swiftly away from the great I am, Yahweh. Um, Yahweh, I believe, means I am that I am. Um, unto a place which is desolate from real love, truth, health, all the things that we take for granted in God's earth, God's green earth. Least of all, you know, having a soul. All these are sellouts. If, if even if these are human beings, these pharaohs, if they have some human <coughs> DNA within them, um, they deny it. Of course, they deny any power of God. As as, as the Apostle Paul said, even if they have some form of godliness, they deny the power thereof. They attribute it to some other god. They say there's no god, etc. This is the what was what's been prophesied, what's been written about. Learned elders of Zion. Um, so anyhow, it's just Jamiroquai here talking about transhumanism uh, with this single automaton. I really think that's a hugely significant. Um, album. I know he didn't make it much in the States, but he's one of my favourite artists. I think he's he's really genuine. I think he really cares about humanity. I'm not sure about his stance about Christianity, but anyone to have a heart for humanity must must be a good thing. I think they must be quite close to God, you know. Um, just quoting again 
from Malachi. And um, well, you can just read through the rest of it. I think uh, I've read enough. I've said enough in this video. I've highlighted about um, the Mandela effect here. I've highlighted some Mandela effects. I was going to do a whole flyer on it, but I've just ended up, um, you know, writing a little bit of history there. And also speaking about the, the telephone towers, the chemtrails a little bit down here. Wi Fi, uh, 5G. I, uh, you know, I got my Ethernet. Cable, just got a cable in rather than the Wi-Fi. Uh, that's that's the best way if you want to still interact, still try to serve the Lord online. It's the only way to do it. Uh, 5G is just going to give us all brain cancer and tumors. That's just what's going to happen. Um, recently, the Lord got me up at a certain time. I was meeting someone. The Lord told me to go to a certain shop where I met a friend. Um, whom I hadn't seen for a while that I used to go to school with and uh, he was just telling me about his daughter um, some sort of device breaking down you know and I was telling him about the 5G and he's saying well it's everywhere what can you do I said well take it out of your house because it'll get you know it's gonna it's gonna destroy your children's health you know so um, the Lord really inspired me to do this flyer I know that it doesn't get a great amount of hits online but um, I hope it will just inspire you to do something and, you know, to serve the Lord. And you can download these flyers on Scribed if you want to. I think in some cases you have to join it. But, uh, you know, you get the idea. I mean, I make these videos just to inspire you, the believer, to share wh what I'm doing, if you like what I'm doing. Or you can take some ideas for yourself and, um, you know, inform your your friends and family you know that's the whole the whole idea about about sharing our faith as believers to you know inspire each other um i don't necessarily want um, myself to be set up as a church and part of the church um if anyone wants to establish a church uh, with me that's fine um you know, take tithe money, great. You know, it'd be going to orphans, it'd be going to w help widows, it'd be going to help AIDS orphans, you know, as the church should be be using its money for. I mean, I've always, I've always done, I've tried to do that. You know, I, I don't live a lavish lifestyle. I am a missionary. I've done missionary work in Africa and India and um, I'm a missionary here in the, my own country. So, you know, uh, the least of all that I, that I ask is for your prayers. Um, I don't. I don't think we got that long to go. There's a lot of videos about the rapture. Very popular. People love hearing about the rapture. I've not. I've not done videos on that. Um, but there's there's some good Christians out there that speak speak about it contextually, and I think that's the best way. Just when you're preaching the gospel, don't single like the rapture out as the most important doctrine because it isn't. It just isn't. You know, you might think it is because we're in the last days and all that stuff. But um, I know anything which is, is of good report, anything which uh, gives your soul strength in these last days is a good thing. But we must also highlight um, the, the reality of what's going on, on on this earth. You know, artists like Jamiroquai have always been able to do it in an entertaining way that people can look at it and get entertained but at the same time there's a deeper message uh, within it you know I know this channel is about really the hard truth the cold hard truth and um, yeah I mean I've tried to make music I've, I've done art you know I do art as well um, anyhow guys thanks for watching thanks for supporting this channel may the Lord bless you